You think you're being healthy. You grab a bottle of water on the go, even reusing that bottle to help the environment. Well, the water may be fine, but you might need to worry about the bottle instead. Here's NBC's Michelle Kaczynski. We carry them everywhere. And I keep it all day. Our water bottles are a part of our lives and our environment. Each day my water routine consists of about five Phillips using this container, and I, I sip on it all day long. Healthy, right? Well, many of those sturdy, reusable plastic bottles contain a chemical, bisphenol A, that many scientists are worried about. The effects are re primarily reproductive and fertility effects in both uh, male and female organisms. This month, a large-scale government study will release its results. Animal tests have shown that bisphenol A affects hormones, but you find it in many baby bottles, too, and heating is thought to make it leach out even more. I thought these were safe. So how do you know what bottles it's in? To most of us, all plastic seems pretty much the same, but it's not. Each type is made of different chemicals. And this stuff, called PET, what our bottled water comes in, is not considered a risk chemically. It's confusing. <laughs> the key? Turn it over. Inside the little triangle, you'll see a number from 1 to 7. Bottled water, or PET, is number 1. Some number 7s are the ones with bisphenol A. You get an indication just by the feel and look of it. This is a number seven polycarbonate. Uh, it's hard and somewhat uh, uh, clear. You can see through it. But the FDA and the plastics industry agree with the scientists who say bisphenol A leaches out at such low levels, it's safe. The toxic effects on the rats were, were done at uh, levels that are thousands of times higher than we are exposed to uh, in the environment. Still, a federal panel of experts has some concern that even low levels cause neural and behavioral effects in children and fetuses. Keep in mind, all plastics can degrade, especially with harsh treatment like dishwashing or microwaving. So you may not want to reuse anything to the point that it's getting shabby. I use the same water bottle probably way too often. It's just another thing to worry about out there. No question, more research is needed. In the meantime, you can always check that number on the bottom or just go back to old-fashioned glass. For today, Michelle Kosinski, NBC News, Chicago. Dr. Leo Trasande is from the Mount Sinai Center for Children's Health and the Environment. Doctor, good to have you here. Good morning. Good morning. I, I think people are going to be surprised by this. As you and I were talking before, there is not an awful lot of awareness about this. So when the results of this study come out, are we going to have to change our behavior? Well, I think there's some very safe and simple steps that families can take to protect themselves from this health risk. Let's talk about what we see every day. And if we start down at that end of the table, sure. these are the bottled waters, these are the soft drinks, the Gatorades, things like that, that we consume by the millions. Now, those are number ones, if you look in the little triangle. On a first use, is there any problem with those bottles? These polyethylene bottles are safe for single use, but they're very hard to clean. And as you clean them, especially with harsh chemicals, the chemicals and the microbes that naturally occur in our mouths can get in those crevices that occur, and unfortunately, they get transmitted back to us as a result. All right, so if we start using those bottles to be environmentally friendly over and over again, and you start to notice they get cloudy, they get scratched, things like that, now they can pose a risk? It's definitely time to throw them away. In fact, I suggest that they use them just once. Also, heating liquids in those bottles is also not a good idea. It could cause chemicals to leach. Heating liquids in those bottles, especially microwaving them, really is effective at getting the chemical out of the plastic and into the food. All right, now gene bottles, which a lot of people haven't even heard of. These are the ones in the center here. Those, if you look in the triangle, they have, some of them have the number seven. You suggest never using those bottles. That's why it's especially important to look at the bottom of the bottle and identify the number that it comes from. Number seven, bisphenol A, is a, a chemical that mimics hormones in our body and can affect the hormones. But, in our body. but are those bottles dangerous on first use or only on after we reuse them? The bottles with the numbers 3, 6, and 7 are not safe for use across the board. I think this is going to startle a lot of people. A Centers for Disease Control study detected BPA, is that bisphenol A? Yes. In the urine of 95% of adults sampled, scientists have measured BPA in the blood of pregnant women, in umbilical cord blood, and in the placentas, all at levels demonstrated in animals to alter development. 
Now that's a very alarming fact, isn't it? Unfortunately, there's no level of exposure that has been identified as being safe, and children and women of childbearing age are especially susceptible. All right, since you mentioned children, let's move on. We're talking here about things like baby bottles and sippy cups. What do parents need to know about the plastics used to make those? The good news is that they're very safe alternatives of of plastic bottles that exist. You can look on the bottles, make sure you're not using ones with the number three, six, or seven. And glass is always a great alternative. And are we driving ourselves crazy here? There was one gentleman in, in that setup spot who said, look, we're talking about levels that are far greater than anything we would experience in daily life. So are we worrying ourselves to death here? No, I think the science suggests that there is a, ma a major concern here, That, but it's a st simple thing that families can do to protect themselves from harmful exposure. And by the way, we looked at this was one water bottle, not to blame this brand, but it was hard to even find the little triangle here to read the number. As it turns out, this is number one and this is fine. But when you get these things from the store, take the time to look at the triangle and find out what you're, what you're, what is, you know, containing the liquid you're drinking. Dr. Leo Trasande, thanks so much. Thank you for having me.